Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Ether has really not been moving a lot uh, in the last few days and I published yesterday an ETH BTC update uh, for our gold members and highlighted there that we can expect a bit of weakness um, on the ETH chart compared to BTC at least. You know, when we compare them, the reason is that ETH BTC is currently in resistance and we see that on the USD charts right now. Ether shows a bit of weakness today we have a reaction to the support region, but the problem I have with this chart now with a clear fifth wave down here is that, yeah, this is a five wave move down, which generally doesn't really and not clearly give us short term bullish, you know, a clearly short term bullish outlook. So while we are holding support and while on the smaller time frames, there sometimes are distortions. Um, you know, on these micro patterns um, and we can still keep the door open for higher, it is highly questionable, highly questionable. So I would not give this a lot of, uh, let's say, trust and I wouldn't rely on a move up here. Yeah, not with that fifth wave down, even though it's holding support. Absolutely. I mean, it's always possible that this morphs into something uh, like a larger correction or something, but this is the support region. This is objective. I mean, the the interpretation of the structure to the downside, which looks like a five wave move is to a degree subjective. But for me, this really looks like a five wave move down. The question is what it could be now. Yeah. What could it be? So, I mean, I have already highlighted to you that this fourth wave that we've been watching could have topped here on the 28th of June. So it's possible that this decline is in the white count, the A wave. Next, we're going to see a bit of a bounce in a B wave and then come down with in wave C. I mean, we're really trying to identify some structures here. You will not find many elite wave analysts who show you this kind of micro counting because it is extremely fragile, right? I mean, not much happened in the last few days anyway, not since we've bottomed here on the 24th of June. We had a three wave rally a dip into support, but we're overall ranging. So I can give you a support zone against which you know, we could focus on higher, but I'm telling you probabilities aren't high. That means in other words, we shouldn't be surprised if support breaks and we go more, uh, we go down directly. Well, that would be different, but that would be different if we, um, you know, if, if we had a five wave move up here, but we don't. Okay. So we had a five wave move up here, possibly, possibly, and I gave you a support zone and that did lead to a bounce. Here, hmm, it's a three wave move up now and five waves down. So yeah, we might get a bounce, but it might only be the B wave in the white count and then come down. So just be a bit of on the, on the side of caution here. Um, if, if we get upside at the moment, I would rather see this as a corrective rally anyway. And um, that is pretty much in line with what I'm looking for on the Bitcoin chart as well. But obviously the bulls would need to be, would need to break first above this descending trend line and the bulls haven't done that yet. And this trend line is to me quite relevant. I mean, it's only two touch points, maybe three, depending on how we draw it. You know, uh, I normally don't want to cut through candles, but yeah, we have three, four, five touch points potentially um, with one small fake out, but we'll see. I mean, that might be valid. Um, still though, we want to see a break above the trend line and then um, we can possibly target here the 50% retracement at 3,545 or 3,622. Only a sustained break above 3,622 would open the door to something more directly bullish. Against that, yeah, the focus can be on lower, I think. Um, basically, my view is we I focus on lower against that level up there. If it pushes a little higher in the short term, it's noise. So it's either down from there or down from here. But I see no evidence we're going down directly from here. It would need to break below 3,284, um, which is the lower boundary of that support area to confirm that. And the next downside support levels reside at 3,126. There are a couple of levels. Um, I took the other one off, but there are a couple of levels here. There's some Fibonacci confluence there where we could at least find some temporary support. Bear in mind, if we get one more low, it would be an ABC structure. So A wave down, a B wave up and a C wave down. Um, 
this A is probably too short to be this degree. So it's likely an ABC in wave A. Then we see B and C. We'll see where it, where it takes us. But overall, there is no confirmation of a low end place until we get a proper five wave move up, followed by a three wave pullback. I'll keep you updated. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.